Hey, weirdos. Uh, this is actually a off-the-cuff episode, not a, a full-blown episode with stories and everything else. I, I did tell you, however, that uh, at least those of you who follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, uh, I told you that I'd give you an update on what happened over the weekend at the UFO Disclosure Symposium and the personal experience I had on Blind Frog Ranch. Now, as many of you probably already know, Blind Frog Ranch has a TV show and weird things happen there, similar to Skinwalker Ranch. I didn't really think anything happened to me until maybe a day later, and I remembered something. I, I have a bad back. My back, uh, um, you can throw it out by hitting a pothole while driving. If I sit wrong, if I bend over and uh, try to pick something up and I just barely twist, it'll throw my back out and I'll be out for a whole day, maybe two. Well, if you've ever been on the tour of Blind Frog Ranch, you know that it is some. it, it is a rough ride in that tour bus. I mean, it's like a roller coaster. I mean, there are so many potholes and rocks and you drive through a stream. There's no way that I should have gone on that tour because within 30 seconds, my back would have been gone. And I don't know why I was stupid enough to do it, but I decided to go ahead and risk it. And I just took a leap of faith, I guess, for lack of better words, and uh, went on the tour for Blind Frog Ranch, which I'm really thankful I did. It was a really great time. We actually ran into Dwayne Ollinger. Uh, he was actually there out there working. Uh, no camera crew or anything. He was just out there doing his thing. And so we spent a few minutes talking to him. Really nice guy. He, he noticed that I was walking around with a cane and he came up to me and, and uh, he, he asked, hey, what's, go what's with the cane, man? What's going on? He didn't have to come over and say it, but he, but he did. I just, I, it's just a genuine guy. I, I really do believe that he is, he is sincere in, in, in what he's doing there. Anyway, that being said, we, you know, we had a great time over there. We did go to the, to the swimming pool, or not the swimming pool, <laughs> the, uh, the, the healing pool, I think is what Dwayne calls it. The, uh, the, the water that comes out from the cave, the, the spring water, uh, it supposedly has healing properties. I was not dressed to go into the healing pool, so that, that wasn't something that I did. Robin, Robin went in and like soaked her feet for like 30 seconds, but the tour was running late, so we couldn't stay there as long as uh, most people wanted. Anyway, we finished the tour, go back, and the next day at the UFO Disclosure Symposium, Charlie, is it Charlie or Rick, Rich? I think it's Charlie from from Blind Frog Ranch was talking about how you know he he can walk on that ranch and just suddenly feel the energy, and that got me thinking. I did not get hurt on that tour. I sh like I said, I should have been hurt three minutes, thirty seconds in, in into that tour with all of the the bumps and everything else. Like I said. My back gets thrown out so easily. In fact, that night when we got back to the hotel, I threw my back out a little bit, not, not, not terribly, but enough to make it uncomfortable for the night, just by sitting on the couch in the hotel room at an angle. It, for some reason, just that, sitting in that particular way, when I got up, I felt it go out and I knew I was in trouble. I had to take the ibuprofen, I had to use the biofreeze just to get through the night. That's just from sitting on a couch. But I went through that entire, almost four hour tour on Blind Frog Ranch, walking on rough terrain. Grant, I was, well, I was using the cane, but still, I should not have been able to climb those hills with uh, the, just the small hills. I mean, there was, there was no actual rock climbing or anything, but still, I should not have been able to easily walk up the, the inclines that we walked up. I should, I should have been in just immense pain in that vehicle from just all of the bumping and bouncing. I actually had to hold on to the seats in front of me and uh, try to relax my back and everything as we hit every single pothole and every every bump and every rock going through the river. It was just, I, I, I am, I'm looking back on that now and I'm thinking, holy cow, there might be something to Blind Frog Ranch because I should, I should be miserable right now. With a long trip, that long, with all of those bumps, I, I should be laid up in a hotel room or maybe even a hospital right now in immense pain. I walked away with zero pain. I didn't feel a twinge. And I'm wondering if 
what Charlie was talking about at the symposium, about the, uh, the how he feels the energy on Blind Frog Ranch. I'm wondering if that energy was actually, in a way, preventing me from getting hurt. Now, like, like I said, I did not, I did not dip my toes into that water. Um, I, I didn't get, I took a, I probably shouldn't have, but I took one tiny sip of the water. I had, I had Robin uh, fill up a, an empty soda bottle that I had with me that I just finished drinking, uh, you know, a few minutes earlier. And so she just filled it up and brought it up to me just because I asked her to. And I took one swig just because I was, I was curious to how it might taste. I know it's spring water, so it should be safe. But, you know, I'm not going to drink the whole thing because you, you never know what's going to be in the water. But I just wanted to taste it. And it, it was perfectly clean, clear. It tasted great. But it was just one swig. But the healing waters supposedly, you know, are real. And I don't know if that's what it was. I don't know if it's just a coincidence that all of that, you know, that I went through that entire tour without any injury at all. But it's it's hard to explain how unlikely it is that I went through that whole thing and felt nothing. Not a single twinge. Even during the ride in that tour bus that was so rough, nothing. Uh, I, I actually I actually enjoyed myself on Blind Frog Ranch, and then throw my then to throw my back out at, at the hotel that that night because just for sitting on a couch. I mean, it's it's just insane. And now I'm feeling fine. By the way, I'm feeling perfectly fine now. That it was just that night. But anyway, I promised to give you that update. And the uh, UFO Disclosure Symposium, it was an amazing event. If you did not follow me on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. I was posting throughout the entire symposium. I was posting pictures of what was being shown, some videos of what was being shown. And if you want to see what I posted, just jump online to Facebook or Twitter or whatever and look for the hashtag UFO Disclosure Symposium. All one word, hashtag UFO Disclosure Symposium. Apparently I was the only one hashtagging, uh, uh, ta hashtagging that. Um, they didn't make a big deal about about the fact that you could hashtag it, but I did. So most everything you see with that hashtag is going to be from me. So you can check that out and see just a little bit of what happened there. But I was talking to the creators of the event, and they are going to take the entire event and edit it down for like, I guess, for an online presentation. And it, it'll be available later on. Once it is, I will definitely tell you about it because there was some amazing stuff there I did not expect to see. I mean, it was a UFO disclosure symposium. So the disclosure aspect means they were showing things that had never been seen before. And that's definitely what happened. But I was just blown away as at some of the footage. I go in skeptical. I tried to stay skeptical going into this thing. I've never really known exactly what I feel about aliens, extraterrestrials. There was a time that I thought they really were extraterrestrials. There was a time that I thought they were purely demonic and they were just demons trying to trick us into thinking that they're something else, maybe a mixture of the two. Later on, I started thinking maybe they're interdimensional rather than extraterrestrial. Now, I'm really not sure, but I am, I am, I am positive that they exist. Even before now, I wasn't sure that they really existed. But after all of that footage, everything that was shown, all the evidence that was presented, I'm convinced that there is, for, okay, to, uh, pardon the cliche, there is something out there. What exactly it is, we, never, we don't really know, but it's definitely worth investigating. And even NASA last Friday said they're going to start investigating UFO activity. Um, that's one of the things that I posted from the uh, symposium. So we might actually get some answers someday. You never know. But anyway, it was an amazing event. If you want to look to the next event that they do, they want to do it annually. And so if you want to get on their mailing list and find out, you can look for UFO Disclosure Symposium on Facebook. Uh, you can also go to ufodisclosuresymposium.com and you should be able to find it there. They're not paying me to say all of this. I just wanted to give you the update as to what happened, but especially with the Blind Frog Ranch thing. Anyway, thanks a lot, weirdos. I greatly appreciate all of you. Still on the road, haven't made it our, uh, made it w our way uh, back home just yet. We're still in Colorado and we decided that we're going to look around for some property. We, we want to move to Colorado someday. And so we decided to spend a couple extra days here and just kind of look around. So love y'all. God bless. And we will see you again in the podcast.